what's up everyone it's edward from bar stars and today we'll be learning how to do the planche now first things first before you start practicing the planche you should have the fundamentals of pushing strength which are push-ups if you can't do push-ups you can't practice the planche now after that's out the way let's analyze the proper form of the planche and see how it works the planche is an isometric movement which means you hold the point of tension for a duration of time it works predominantly your anterior deltoid the front part of your shoulder, but it's undoubtedly a full body movement. It's a leverage based movement, so for this to work, your hands have to be placed at waist level. If you try to do the planche with your hands at regular push-up position, you will go nowhere. This is also why the closer you are to the center, the easier it is, and the further away you are, the harder it is. This comes into play when dealing with the progressions, but also is why people with longer limbs might have a tougher time or even something as little as having sneakers on or not makes a difference. Sneakers go on the bottom of your feet, which is all the way at the end of your body, which will cause the most difficulty in any leverage based position. Planche is considerably easier on parallettes or parallel bars. Pretty much anything that alters your grip to handles instead of palms flat. We encourage that you practice both. Because of the lean forward, the planche requires flexibility in your wrist. We suggest you warm up and stretch your wrist for every planche training. Here are some drills that are proven to increase flexibility and decrease injury. Learn them and use them often. Now the proper hand positioning for the planche. You do not want to leave your hands forward. This demands a lot of wrist flexibility and most people have wrist discomfort when trying this. Most people feel more comfortable with their hands turned to the side. This will vary from person to person, so just find what's comfortable to you. Now the popular method of training the planche is through a set of progressive holds. This means when you master one movement, you move on to the harder, more difficult stage. Use the range of 30 seconds to 45 seconds to determine if it's time to move on. Once you can hold the progression you are currently in within this time range with no break then it's time to level up. The first one is the frog stand. Crouch down and poke each elbow into the inside of each knee. Once you have done this lean forward balancing on your knees and removing your feet off the ground. Practice this until you're able to hold it for 45 seconds straight. Until then just work on time under tension in this position for a total of 45 seconds between many sets or however many sets it takes you to get to 45. Next is the tucked planche. Here you move on to your arms being locked out and move your knees away from your elbows. Keep them close to your chest and picture being a tight ball. It's okay to have a rounded back for this but try to keep it even. Scapula should be protracted from here on out. Once you can hold this for 45 seconds straight you can move on. Advanced tuck planche. Move your knees away from your chest so that your back flattens like a table. No more rounded back. Once you can hold this position for 30 seconds straight, you can move on to the next one. Straddle planche. Now for the straddle, same rules as the advance when it comes to back flat, straight, and arms locked out. But this time, you're going to try to perform a split, keeping your legs as wide open as you can. And the last progression, the full planche. Now you guys might have heard me mention scapula earlier. Your scapula is located around your shoulder blades. For a proper planche, you need your scapula to be protracted. So think of a hollow back. Turn your back into a tortoise shell. Now we're going to give you some accessory exercises to practice alongside your progressions. This is scapula push-ups. Keep your arms locked out, let your scapula loose down, and then protract it up again. Next is full push-ups with the scapular protraction. At the top of every regular push-up, protract your scapula. There's a great way to add into your everyday workout.
Now one of the best ones is the planchaline. With arms locked out, protract your scapula, push your hips down and lean forward. Hold this for time. Now let's look at an incorrect version of the planche lean. Arms are not locked out. Scapula was not protracted. Fix your pelvic tilt. And now you're ready to lean forward. Tucked planche push-ups and other progression push-ups. Find the most difficult progression you can hold comfortably and perform push-ups in this position. You can also do push-ups in the planche lean, which are commonly known as pseudo push-ups. Now for some common questions. How often should you train? Listen to your body when it comes to this, but the more you train, the faster you'll get it. The twins train six days a week of planche, and in my own training, I found the more I trained, the better I got. Think of it as practice as opposed to a workout. How long would it take? This will vary for everyone. The twins got it in two months, but had a very strong background in calisthenics basics beforehand. I personally trained off and on, but when I concentrated really hard on the planche, I made a lot of progress in two months. But I trained quite obsessively, and I never got the perfect planche. Thanks for watching, never give up. You will get the bunch, just work hard. Peace, Peace out. out. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching the video. Make sure to subscribe to the Twins YouTube channel. And if you liked the video, leave a like and comment. And if you have any more questions on the planche, please leave them down below.